Kirsty, uh, I'm uh, in a call now with uh, Kirsty Burgess. I'm just going to ask you some uh, questions about your role, uh, your job, what you do, and how you got into into doing it. So, first of all, when were you at this school at CCSC? So I attended from 2006 to 2011. Yeah. Okay, great. And what is your what is the job that you do at the minute? What's your kind of your job title, and what what does that involve? I'm one of the forensic scene investigators. Um, I work at West Midlands Police, so to other people that'll be a scenes of crime officer. Um, okay. Using the terminology kind of broadly stays the same across the, the board. It is a scenes of crime officer. <laughs> right, okay. So what, SOCO has, uh, has these used to be referred to. In that, yeah. Right, okay. And what kind of, within the organisation you work for, and what, what other kind of roles are there as well as what you do in, in forensics? So there's loads of different roles, to be honest. Um, forensics itself is very broad in terms of what the police do. Yeah. Um, roles in there as police staff investigators, there's obviously police officer roles. Um, yeah. With forensics itself, you could work in the digital aspect, you can work in fingerprints, you can work in the labs in terms of like developing um, bits of evidence that we submit to them. Yeah. Um, lots of different roles within there or obviously you can choose your different specialisms within different areas of the force so if you were looking at becoming an investigator you can specialise in sexual offences in murder investigations um, for police officers you can obviously specialise in firearms or yeah. force response and um, there's lots of different departments to be yes. honest there's quite a wide variety of different paths for you to take correct yes and how long have you been doing it out of interest this particular role I've been in just over a year, but I worked in a different area of forensics for West Mids um, for the last three and a half years. So I used to work in crime scene reconstruction. Oh, right. Wow. OK. That sounds, yeah. That sounds <laughs> fascinating. Um, so this is, is probably going to be a question that you can't answer because I was going to say, well, what is a typical day? What, what would it normally in, involve? But I suppose there's quite a variety. But what would what would you say a typical day or maybe a, a, t a typical day that you had last week? What? Uh, what Days do vary quite a lot. Um, you can start out by having a day where you just go to, to kind of simple burglaries, to be honest, where you're just going to scenes of, of incidents. Um, yeah. But then equally another day that you go, you could be ending up at a murder scene or to be honest, one of my night shifts last week, I ended up doing three burglaries and then I went into the murder scene as well. So Right. OK, so it's quite. quite it's yeah. it's <laughs> right. Very, yeah. Very day sometimes. Yeah. Sounds uh, sounds really challenging i mean what what is the most challenging part of your job would you say i'd say it's the emotional aspect it's having to deal with people that have been through a very emotional point in their life yeah. and incident that's completely turned their life upside down whether that be a murder that's happened in the family yeah. or whether that be just a burglary you know that incident at that time is the worst thing that's ever happened to them and we're the people most of the time that are the, the only ones going there sometimes we go instead of police officers so we're the only public service role that they're seeing and we get all the emotion from them. We get everything kind of unloaded onto us, if you get what I mean. And that's quite difficult to deal with, especially if you haven't got the coping mechanisms in place for it yeah. or the infrastructure within your police force. It is very difficult. Right. So it's, it's not just the, the scientific aspect that you're doing. It's, it's the emotional support, the counselling, the shoulder yeah. to fly on, the person, I suppose, trying to reassure them. Absolutely. I mean, in terms of getting to where you are now what sort of um qualifications did you do what i mean what would you advise say anyone at ccsc who wants to go down that path what would you advise them to to study so i took the very much the kind of institutional route so i obviously went to college um did all the sciences photography maths that kind of thing um then i went to university for forensic science mm -hmm. and a whole load of placements whilst i was there i'd say experience is key yeah. um, you don't necessarily have to take that route. There's people within our department that have come in through apprenticeships. There's people that have come through student placements. There's people that work in there now that haven't ever touched forensics before in their life. Oh, right. One of those things that you have to get as much experience within the forensic variety and the forensic era as much as you can. Yeah. Um, so I'd say look for placements, especially within police forces. A lot of them offer them out nowadays um, to anyone who's above the age of 18. So I'd definitely be looking for those. Right. Um, so look at kind of transferable skills. So I did a lot of mentoring in terms of university students and college students. Sure. Um, but that gives you a lot of kind of transferable skills in terms of communication and in terms of kind of stress management and that kind of thing. Yeah, I suppose particularly if you're like you say, you're the kind of 
the person, the official person there, and you're the only official person there, you've got to have that wide variety of, uh, of skills, the empathy and, and what have you. Right, that's, that's brilliant. Um, I've just got one more, one more question for you. Um, if you weren't doing this job, what would you be your ideal, your dream job? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to go into marine biology. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. <Quite laughs> so what I started off wanting to do when I was in high school. Yeah. Uh, and then as I studied more into science, I realised that I was actually really good at the biology and chemistry aspects of it and right, made okay. that for something different and then found forensics and just absolutely loved it. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. That's very great. Well, thanks for thanks for answering my uh, my, my questions. I'm sure everyone will be uh, really pleased to, uh, to see this video. So uh, thanks a lot for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Cheers.